Almost everything we do, it's becoming clear that many activities we wouldn't have given a second thought before now pose a risk with COVID-19. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new report from the CDC on an event involving a so-called super spreader that shows just how different things may need to be. There's no exact definition of a super spreader, but the general idea is that it's a patient or an event that may transmit infection to a larger group of individuals well beyond the usual number. Now, in this report, it was one infected person singing in a choir. And although mask use, social distancing, and hand washing have become norms, I want to highlight this specific activity to really emphasize the need for precautions. On March 10th, a single infected individual participated in a two and a half hour choir practice with 60 other people. At the time, special social distancing precautions were not in place and no one was wearing masks. From the contact tracing investigation, the health department was able to estimate that 52 people developed COVID-19 from one person. That's an attack rate of 53% among confirmed cases and 87% among all cases. Three people were hospitalized, including the index patient, and two people died. Now, ultimately, although there were many possible routes of transmission, the CDC pointed out that the spread of infected aerosols is correlated with how loud a person is speaking or singing. Also, certain people do release significantly more virus than others. They're referred to as super emitters, who are thought to contribute even more to super spreading events. It's just another reason to continue social distancing and precautions. Back to you.